I got the Mark 18. They provided it to me. I am straight up affiliated. Promo code down link below in the bios. Looks good. Everything's good. All right, so I'm going to piggyback off the last video. Um, people do often ask, why do you have so much stuff on your gun? Or what is the purpose of all this stuff? So I'm going to go over what I have, why I have it, and should you have it? All right. So first things first, this is a factory SBR Daniel Defense Mark 18. All right. There is nothing in it that is not what it came with from the factory internally. Okay. Externally, it has some stuff. Yes. All right. As always, always ensure your weapon's clean when you're not prepared to engage. All right. So I'm going to go from butt to muzzle all right i did change the butt stock out to a b5 bravo i'm not big on my rifles or carbines having a huge cheek hold or cheek well i just put this little subtle one right here as you can see it's not too aggressive but just enough where i got slight contact so i'm always in the exact same placement i've been running the the vickers or the blue force slings for i don't know two decades now um, as you see, it's always on your non-dominant hand on the outside of it, okay? What that enables you to do is when you have the weapon slung, right? If you go to tra transition to your other side, you don't choke yourself out. You have a little bit of extra leeway. So that's the purpose of that, all right? Then I move forward. I have the stock charging handle, okay? And then we got... Um, stock bolt stock ambi stock trigger everything on it is stock internally now this is the eotech exps3 and i do the dash 2 model it has additional dot inside of it some people would like it some people don't i like it all right um i've ran eotech since we got the issue the 231s which i think that was 2006 or 2008 is whenever they started getting fielded like across um, the battalions or whatever you want to call it um, this right here is a CZ Scorpion um, just a hand stop the what I use it for as is an index point so I know every single time when my dominant non-dominant hand gets on here it's in the exact same spot every time all I got to do is get underneath the hook and pull, pull my hand back and it's in the exact same spot every single time. All right, we got a PEC-15, uh, it's visible, infrared, all that fancy stuff. I think the proper term is ATPIL or whatever. It's, it is a full power because I do run uh, dual tube nods. I got the DTNVGs, L3 tubes, and then you know, the typical fancy stuff that everyone runs. Now this is something that I recently switched to it is the surefire vampire now i very rarely use white light when i do use it i'm probably putting chickens away or i heard a noise outside and the wife's like why are the dogs barking weird so i'll come out there and then i'll use the white light but the big thing for me is i can leave it in the middle setting which is off or i can go all the way uh clockwise into the infrared setting which is really helpful for nods because it's a really bright infrared that i can light up my entire pasture or into the entire wood line to see stuff that i couldn't even see before even whenever i have a whole lot of loom or i don't have a whole lot of loom it's freaking handy how often i use it is i don't know i don't use it enough to really make it to make it uh to say that hey you should go out and get a 600 dollars flashlight but it is nice to have and um it is something that i would recommend almost everybody have on your rifle is a flashlight not just for um, pid but for utility purposes right and then i have the dual dual switch right here 
the one that's got the the nipple or the uh whatever the bump right here is that's for my white light the one in the, the front is for my illuminator that way i know if i feel the bump the nipple i double tap it got light on or whatever i need to do okay and i am running the huxworks 556k uh, flow, flow through suppressor um, there's gonna be a video that i'm going to show at the end of this as to why i'm running this suppressor all the gases now go forward no more in your face this is what i run it's not a one size fits all setup but for me i have been running a variation of this exact setup for two decades um this particular weapon i've had for going on four years set up exactly like this the only thing that's changed is the suppressor and the light but a variation of this Mark 18 is what I've been running for almost two decades. I like it. I recommend it. But ultimately, I recommend you training and becoming proficient with what you have. This is just what works for me.